Place names. Places get their names from people who first discovered them or from the people that lived in the area. For example, the Ukahlamba, Dragonsburg, is the high mountain that runs from the Cape through Lesotho, the Free State and KwaZulu-Natal. They are called different names in different regions by local people. Ukahlamba is an Isizulu name meaning place in the mountain. Ukuhlamba is an Isikosa name for the Dragonsburg Mountains. In Sesotho, they are known as Maluti. The Orange River got its name because the water was often orange. The orange color is from all the sand it carries. The Dutch settlers wanted to honor the Prince of Orange in the Netherlands by naming the river the Orange River. Kharib, which means great water, is a Khoi name for the Orange River. Now let's continue to look at these rivers. Where do rivers begin and end? Wizards, rivers begin on high ground and flow downhill. In South Africa, our rivers end when they flow into the sea. Now looking at river systems. A river system is a river and all its tributaries. A river's catchment area is all the land from which the river gathers its water. When it rains, all the rainwater eventually soaks underground or flows into the rivers. The underground water and the water in the rivers eventually flow into the sea. Now, ways in which human activities change physical landscape, beginning with dams. Wizard South Africa is a dry country. Most regions have some months of the year when rivers dry up, so we cannot rely on getting water from a river. We have to store water from the dry times. We store most of our water in dams so that people can get water throughout the year. When a dam is built, people build a concrete wall across the river. The wall holds back the water. The area behind the wall becomes flooded. The flooded area is the dam. When the dam is built, trees and other plants are flooded and die. Animals and birds lose their homes and food supply. A dam affects the natural flow of the river. On the upstream side of the dam, the rivers flow normally. On the downstream side of the dam, the river dries up. The only time there is water in the river on the downstream side is when the gates in the dam wall are opened and they let water through. When there is very heavy rainfall, there is often flooding. This becomes and is because the river is no longer flowing naturally all the way to the sea. Now, road building. Wizards, when people live where there are no roads, they are cut off or isolated from other villages and towns. Roads affect the physical environment in which they are built. If people build a road on a steep slope, they have to cut into the hillside. This can cause soil and mud to wash down the slope when it rains. Sometimes people want a road to the other side of mountains. If the slopes are too steep to build on a road, they cut through mountains to make a tunnel.